This video takes a look at our new toolbox V10. We'll be showing you how to use a torque multiplier on the Ford EcoBoost engine. Hi guys, today we have with us the 1 litre Ford EcoBoost engine. According to the OEM specifications, the crankshaft belt pulleys bolt must be undone and fastened again using a torque multiplier. This tool can be found in our toolbox V10. Here we have our centerpiece, the torque multiplier. And then there are various mounting parts as well. This retaining plate, these fastening bolts, plus sleeves, the supporting arm and two reinforced sockets. We are showing you how to assemble the torque multiplier using an engine that has been removed. In the workshop you first have to remove the drive shaft and start a motor and then lock the flywheel. A special tool is needed to lock the flywheel. This tool can be found in our toolbox V09, which you can find out all about in another of our videos. In the case of our engine here, the supporting arm can be screwed directly onto the engine block. In some cases though, you'll need our spacer plate, which is also included in the case. We attach our torque multiplier with the corresponding socket. Then we undo the crankshaft bolt using a suitable tool. Before we can fit our new pulley though, there are a few things to watch out for. First we have to use a new bolt. And you must also remember to first place this friction washer on the crankshaft whenever the pulley is attached during a vehicle service. This is done to prevent the pulley from twisting while applying torque or tighten the bolt. It only needs to be done during a service. So, we fitted the pulley with the new bolt. The bolt is now tightened in eight stages. First 25 Newton meters, then 70 Newton meters. That's all done without the torque multiplier, just with the torque wrench. Then it's time to use our torque multiplier. We now tighten by 60 Newton meters with the torque multiplier, followed by five turns of 90 degrees. So, the bolt has been tightened. The tightening torques for the bolt may vary, however, depending on the model of engine. Always pay attention to the manufacturer's specifications and the fitting instructions. Okay? See you next time in the workshop.